Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. Um, I want today test a little bit the new Roomba Pro. So we have announced the Roomba Pro some time ago, but the first questions I always had was like, okay, how does the microphones, the camera, how does it perform? How does it look like also for the people on the other side of the, uh, of the camera? So basically, the receiving end of whatever these cameras produce. So I do have now here um, a Roomba Pro on top of a quad cam um, and in front of that I have a normal Roomba standing. So I'm recording the audio and video of all of those. The Roomba Pro is connected via USB-C to a laptop to do the recording. The quad cam or the Room 70 Dual is connected to a HDMI grabber. So this is how I grab the, the self view basically of the picture. And I have the room bar, which is also connected to via USB-C to a laptop. So I record the audio and video also on the laptop. So it's not a in-call experience I am testing and verifying. It's like the local experience or what the application receives or what we are sending into a meeting. So um, I have a camera here so you can see me walking around a little bit in the meeting room. We have here a meeting room where the distance from the lens of the camera to the end of the table, so this uh, table edge here, would be about five meters. So you see me walking around in the room a little bit to check how speaker tracking is working, to see how um, the audio pickup is working, so also an important thing. There is no external microphones connected to the room bar or the room bar pro. The audio of the quad cam I'm not going to verify. This is uh, yeah, table microphones, so it's a completely different setup. It's not like a built-in microphone we have in place there. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start with sitting close to the device and see how the audio and the video is from there. Okay, first I sit on the uh, to the front of the table, so we have the me being very close to the three cameras. Um, let's give it some time maybe to allow focusing and speaker tracking to work. So um, there was a room bar and the quad cam I see and the room bar pro on top. So that will be the first test, me like talking a little bit as well. Then I move over to let's say the middle of the table. So this must be about three, somewhere between three and four meters. I'm away from the table. So again, um, microphone or audio picked up from the room bar, the room bar pro on top, and the quad cam doesn't have audio. So we do have, um, yeah, we do have a little uh, air conditioning continuously running here. So it is not going to be fully quiet. So we also see how the noise removal works, which is kicking in here as well. We go to the very end of the table. So this here. <clears throat> so let's see how I am picked up here. So we have, uh, again, the room bar is actually now a bit too far away. For me, I think it's not meant for this size of rooms. The quad cam should be perfectly well, and the room bar pro on top. Let's see how this performs towards the end. Okay, so I'll get up and move to the other side of the table, somewhere in the middle here. So I should be again fully nicely into the picture for all these devices. Um, and the audio should now be fine with all of them. Um, the lighting conditions here are so-so, so I hope the cameras are making the best out of it. 
because I guess amongst customers, it's also not really clearly defined how it, um, how it is. Okay, so that will be one round around, around the table, just to see how this speaker track is working. So let me see them standing here and see how it picks me up and how fast the cameras actually are. So that'll be another interesting test as well. Let me go like very close, not only to the edge of the table, but like a little bit close even. So I'm uh, sitting like about one arm length from the devices. So we have the room bar at the bottom, the quad cam further up and the room bar pro all the way on the top. It's interesting to see the field of view, like the full field of view of these devices as well. Okay, so we have now the um, speaker track diagnostics enabled. Also a good, interesting thing to do. So let's see how this looks like. So I go around the table, sit a little bit further to the back, see how it goes and just uh, walk around once basically just to see. This speak tracking, and I can go to the last chair here also to see how it picks up all the video and what kind of camera is used in which case. Then we have this other set of possibilities we have to check the audio of the Room Bar Pro. So I'm standing now on the left hand side of the device from the device point of view, so you should see like one beam forming microphone kind of picking up. Then I move towards the middle in the back here of the screen uh, of, of the room. So it should uh, pick up um, the use the middle beam forming set of microphones. And then I'll move around to this part of the table. And then you should use like the right hand side of the microphones. So this is just to like Move around once move around the table. So this should give you a good feeling of how this is all working and set up. That was already it. I, I hope it gave a good impression on how these devices look like, how they work in detail. And so you have a, a better idea of maybe what to choose for which side of the room. So again, we have the, the edge of the table here is about five meters away from the camera at the same time i must say i mean i'm on my own in this room i don't have anybody else so i'm uh, yeah maybe not 100 percent what you're going to face in normal setups but at least you get a first impression and you can get some more details how it looks like so thank you very much and uh, hope to see you soon in my next video um, bye